All right, 24 days of matcha, day 10. Little drawer. <clears throat> Little plastic thing of mojito matcha. And there's my scale. There we go. I think I have everything ready and then I don't. So it's an 11. So as you can see, these vary wildly in the amount. Probably makes it easier for them, but drives me a little batty. Make sure my water's at 165, which is lower than their suggested 185, because we figured out that makes it look bitter. Tear up the scale. <coughs> Eight seems to work really well for mugs. There we go. Mint, oh goodness, it smells like mint and sugar, which is absolutely what a mojito should smell like. Um, but that is not subtle at all. Um, the water is reheating slightly. There we go. Hit the whiskey stick. Stir it first. Turn it on. I move from bottom to top. Smells like mint and honey still. Um, less strong now. Minty, not overpoweringly so. Vegetal, sweet vegetal finish. Like a hint of bitter, if anything. I think this is pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna get it again just because I guess I've had too much mint in my life unless I'm feeling ill. I don't really want mint tea, but <clears throat> this is uh, pretty 